Wolf and Pooch, we're back. What is this, episode 53, 54? I'm, I'm, like that, I'm yeah. losing count. Um, so today, today's episode is inspired by, um, we went to an R&B only event over the weekend. By the way, side note, if you love R&B music, that's your event. <laughs> uh, but so we're, <laughs> really, really good event. So we're sitting and there was a couple in front of us and uh, I just, I noticed that this guy was on his phone a lot. And, and, you know, and Jay and I were kind of paying attention a little bit. I'm like, man, this guy is like, just not even paying attention to his girl, like at all. Like he had his arm around her and all that, but it was just like, he had his arm around her, but it was like the, and he was like this and she wasn't looking. So I was like, I don't know what's going on here, but I just, it, what it made me think of is here you are, like, this is like the, one of the perfect date night spots, right? Like here you are with your significant other. So I'm guessing maybe they've been together a while. Like, mm. I don't know, because it's like- the, It had they, to be, because the way he was on his phone, it seemed like they've been together for a minute. Because if it was like, no, he would have been more, at least I would have hoped, been more- More conscientious, attentive. right? Mm. Yeah, so, and I was kind of like, felt bad for the girl because she was just kind of sitting there and she was watching, but like, he just wasn't engaging with her. And I was like, ooh, that makes me sad. And I. He was going through all the apps, Snap, Instagram, <laughs> text. He kept going back to one hey, particular honestly, text. She didn't say nothing. So she I didn't know, like... but then she got up and got a drink by herself. And I'm like, <laughs> you didn't even go get her a drink. She, but she didn't bring him anything back. <laughs> but what I'm, what I want to get into is like, so it made me think of like when you've been with someone a while, this could happen. Things could get stale, right? In relationships, you have to keep that spark alive. So. You know, I feel like, yeah, it's great they went out on this date night, but if you're gonna go out on a date night, you have to engage with each other. You can't, you know, be glued to your screen. So I feel like, you know, it's important to remember that, right? Because we could all let things just go and just go through the motions and this, this and that, but you have to make sure you guys stay invested in each other. And I think that's really kind of what made me sad because he was just so detached right and you know what that showed me i feel like both of them didn't want to go right maybe it seemed like he probably didn't want to go she probably did so it's just like you gotta when you with your partner you gotta make sure you're doing things that both of y'all want to do because true if one, I know they say, oh, you know, even if you don't want to do it, then you should still go. I mean, you could still go, but you you're not gonna be into it, and you could tell the energy gonna be off. Like, right. if some if one person is forced to be somewhere, the energy gonna be off. So that's why you gotta make sure y'all do things that like both y'all want to do, or else no, <laughs> I I think that phone. is important. Like, I oh, also boy. think though, like if it isn't something you particularly want to do, and you see that it's super important to the other person, and you're like, you know, I see that this is important to you, I'm gonna really push myself. I'm not saying to do that every time, but like for specific things, like this means a lot to you. So yeah, I'm gonna just suck it up and go and like you know make the Try most that. of it because sometimes you don't want to go somewhere and then you end up having a good time right like you're like oh i don't know about this and then you, it ends up yeah. turning out okay but you are right like don't force yourself into situations that you know are not going to maybe turn out well right mm. but if you are somewhere together engage like you're there to like spend time with each other like we're so busy day in and day out with work if you have kids just family it's like that's a moment for them to connect and they couldn't have been more disconnected <laughs> so it was like oh my god so i but i feel like that's not like they're just we're using them as an example but that, you see that a lot you see it in restaurants you know two people are out to dinner and what are they doing they're on well, their phone honestly right? too a lot of times you know especially in these day and age a lot of people get together just because the sex may be good right, right. so that's if you don't too. have <laughs> anything other like nothing to talk about or anything else in common then yeah you're gonna get bored real quick and For sure. like outside the bedroom you're gonna be bored because it's like There's that's what brought y'all together so right yeah i see that happen a lot that's a common thing well that's a whole nother topic that's why people yeah. shouldn't rush into that <clears throat> mm -hmm. but <laughs> no i mean seriously because then it's like because that's you how don't people have a start they'll, st they'll start with that being sexual and then try to figure each other out after but it's backwards when you do that, you know? It's harder. Right. right? I agree. Um, I feel like that should be something that you should build to anyways. Like, you're not supposed to... I mean, physical intimacy in itself is like, that. that's a whole energy. We've talked about it. There's an energy exchange. That's your, you know, your soul really connecting with someone. I mean, I know a lot of guys 
will argue that and be like, oh, it's just physical, da 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 da. But at the end, I mean, I don't feel like a lot of women could go that route and be disconnected. I feel like once a woman shares her body with you, she is she's already invested, right? I, I mean, there's some, some women who probably could do uh, it and uh. some can't, but I'm just saying, I feel like, so that's where things get cloudy. And then you got someone who's like, uh-oh, like I did this with him now, like I'm gonna try to hang on to this because, you know, so I don't know, it, it does muddy up things. So you gotta get to know the person first, get to know who they are on the inside, you know, cause you may not want to do that with them. <laughs> if if, they, if also, you know on the inside. It's the places like in this situation, it was the R&B only, it was like a little place where you sit down and listen to music. So that could be a bad spot too. To well, also you could connect. dance, you it, could dance. We get up and dance, you, could, you, can, you, you know, could. but. But if you're not that type, it'd be well, better right. to go to a different spot where it's easier for y'all to connect, where True. it's less distractions. Cause then you're there and listening to your favorite song and stuff, but it's like, you ain't listening to the other person. Yeah, but did you, you know, here's the thing. The I saw person. other couples actively engaging, singing to each other, dancing, just having a good no. time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, we knew we were dancing. Stop it. No. I, I didn't was a dancer. I was, but that, I'm talking about this time we had seats where it didn't lend itself to that. Um, but prior but, events, yeah. Yeah, you could. Like I said, it was new. You could tell the new ones from the from the people that's and been yes, together. And yes, you were dancing. Shut up. You know. So, no, I'm just saying. I just I don't know if. I don't know. I saw some people who were older in there and they were like into it and grooving. So I don't know. I mean, but you're right. The newer couples, you could tell, you could always tell who's new and who's not. But again, at the end of the day, people have different situations and you know, I don't know what theirs was, but it definitely didn't look good. So I was like, ah, oh. so I was like, we got to talk about this. So yeah, I think it's just important to keep the spark alive in so many different ways. We did a short on this a long time ago, but yeah, you got to plan date nights. You know, make it a make it a thing. Put something on the calendar like once a week. Like this is our night. We're gonna do this and stick with it. Um, you know, surprise each other. Write mm. each other notes. Leave notes and you know, if you make his lunch, put a note in there. You know, um, or leave a note on his car and he sees it in the morning. I don't know. Or and vice versa for the guy could do that too. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? He could. You know, just the element <laughs> of surprise is fun. Like mm. it's like, ooh, he was thinking of me. You know, and it just, and it and it is a way of like connecting reconnecting whatever stage you're at but yeah i just feel like that shouldn't get lost because everybody does that stuff in the beginning right everybody's like all on their best behavior and oh everything's all cute and sweet and it's like oh i got them i don't have to do that no you gotta you got they say date your wife right all the time date your wife date your husband you gotta do the same thing if you're not married i would say this if you if, you, if you're like truly passionate about a person from the jump then you're gonna do whatever it takes to keep that spark, that flame True. lit. If you ain't, you not. Simple as that. If you, if you, if it's just based off of lust or mm -hmm. some physical, then you are gonna let it die down, and it, it'll it'll show itself later on in the relationship when when it get boring, when times get tougher. Then you could tell like, oh okay, this ain't fun no more, so I'm done. But if it's somebody who you really care about, then You'll yeah, work and you go through things with. You'll keep it alive. You will. You won't no, be I on agree snap. with that. <laughs> Why your person? Yeah, he was there too. He was. He you. was like snap Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm gonna tell you right now. I know it wasn't a dude because I saw the emojis. I'm like, what man yeah, and dudes, is sending emojis like that? <laughs> we gotta stop using so many emojis. Like one every now and then, it's okay, but not every. It's it's um, not every gonna, message. It's, it's Damn, corny, 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 that's corny, too corny. much, man. But mm -mm. I ain't got nothing else to say. No, I that, just, so. I think that the basic message here was like, you know, continue to keep the spark alive by the little surprises, planning the date nights, be spontaneous, you know, try something new together, whatever it is, because if, like you said, if that person's really worth it to you, you're not going to want to let it die. You're not going to want to let it just fizzle out, right? So, yeah. you know. Let All us right. know some ideas in the comments about what you guys do to keep your spark alive. I think that would be good. <laughs> I'd like real, to see that. Until the next video, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay blessed. Follow the socials. Follow the socials. Subscribe. Like, comment, all that good stuff. And it's late.